Greetings, ARPA-E community. I'm James Zaylor, the Associate Director of Technology to Market at ARPA-E. And today's energy brief is focused on our scale-up program, a, an overview of the rationale for the program, a look back at 2019, and a look ahead at our plans for 2021. Joining me today is Danny Cunningham, a member of our tech to market team who oversees the execution of, of award negotiations and project oversight. Thank you for the introduction, James. My name is Danny Cunningham. I'm a technology to market advisor at ARPA-E, and I'm very pleased to be here in this energy brief to talk about scale up 2021. So the first question is, why scale up? Scale up was designed to build upon ARPA-E's technologies by funding the transition of promising projects from demonstration in the lab to products in the field. This is done to prevent promising ARPA-E funded technologies from being stranded in their development pathway. And in so doing, we avoid leaving valuable IP funded by U.S. taxpayer dollars vulnerable to adoption by foreign competitors. At the same time, we enhance the competitiveness of U.S. industries by developing, scaling, and manufacturing technologies necessary to compete in a rapidly evolving energy market. Additionally, ScaleUp helps RPE meet its statutory direction to achieve its goals by accelerating transformational technological advances in areas that industry by itself is not likely to undertake because of technical and financial uncertainty. For-profit company participation is at the core of the ScaleUp program. ScaleUp focuses on projects that are designed to scale or pre-pilot promising technologies that RPE has funded, for which the ScaleUp project substantially builds on prior innovations from the original RPE award. Applicants must own or control the subject inventions or software arising from the prior RPE awards. This does not mean that the same team that was the prior awardee has to be the team developing the technology. But that applicant team does have to have the legal right to develop the technology from the prior award. ScaleUp is designed to encourage company and industry participation and applicants must partner with potential customers, end users, suppliers, or other industry participants. Building on the success of our ScaleUp 2019 program, I'm pleased to announce that we hope to release a second version of ScaleUp in 2021. We anticipate making up to $100 million in federal funds available with an expectation of selecting between five and eight teams and anticipate those awards to be up to $20 million for the federal share. As with Scale Up 2019, the cost share in the form of cash or in-kind contributions will be 33 and a third percent for large businesses and 20% for small businesses and startups. Finally, as with 2019, the projects will be selected on the basis of demonstrated impact and commercial potential of the technologies supported, the assessed capability and commitment of the project team and the industry partners they have brought to the scale-up project, and finally, the demonstrated technical merit and strength of the project execution plan. Of course, scale-up 2021 will be building upon key lessons learned in 2019, and as such will have some changes. These are generally designed to streamline the program and improve the turnaround time from the release of the FOA to the selection and negotiation of awards. To do so, we are removing the small business grant and the workshop phases of the program. We're replacing the preliminary application with a concept paper stage. We are modifying the full application to reduce narratives and replace them with a pitch video. We're improving the oral presentation to help us with our selection process. But I will emphasize there are no changes to the team structure evaluation criteria or the commercialization partner requirements. So now I'm going to hand it over to Danny to talk about some of our successful 2019 projects. Thanks, James. So what I'd like to do now is to highlight three successful projects from Scale Up 2019 and to describe some of the notable awardee attributes we found compelling in their application process. The first team I'd like to talk about is Nature and Energy. Natron was awarded $20 million and was one of only two fast track awardees. Natron's primary product is an 8 kilowatt 50 volt battery tray system for use in data centers to manage a peak load and provide critical backup power. Some of the notable awardee attributes included an impressive list of letters of intent from investment groups and key stakeholders. They were able to secure a memorandum of understanding from a leading technology company and they demonstrated technical readiness through their ability to garner partnerships for their technology. They assembled a strong team that included industry veterans with experience in scaling complex supply chains. 
and they also established discussions and engagement opportunities with VC groups at an early stage. The second team I'd like to talk about is Longpath Technologies. Longpath was awarded $5 million through the Scale Up 2019, with their value proposition at scaling very large continuous emissions monitoring networks for the oil and gas industry. Uh, notable awardee attributes included the fact that they provided examples of early product validation with commercial partners, as well as at an independent validation facility. They highlighted how their team had evolved from a founder university-led company to one where C-level individuals with industry experience have been brought in to manage the next phase of commercial growth. And lastly, they also described a clear approach to mature their pricing model and internal rate return during the scale-up project. The third company I'd like to talk about is Skycall Systems. Skycall was awarded $3.5 million through Scale Up 2019. And they plan to develop a rooftop radiative cooling product that improves the efficiency of air conditioning and refrigeration systems by as much as 40%. Skycall provided a strong group of partners that included well-known companies that could offer multiple sites for commercial scale validation. They also explained their supply chain with a high level of granularity and highlighted how they plan to use existing balance of system components developed in other industries to help speed their product to market. They also provided detailed information on how they validated their technology and their value proposition over its competition and alternative solutions such as PV. So in summary, a strong scale-up project should provide significant impact potential identify a compelling commercial opportunity, be an ambitious project to productize and scale, include solid commercialization partners, and present a thoughtful plan to build on scale-up success. And with that, I'd like to hand over to James to wrap up the energy brief. Thank you. Thank you, Danny, for that excellent overview of Scale-Up 2019 and what we're looking for in successful proposals for Scale-Up 2021. I'd like to close by thanking the RPE community for tuning into this energy brief to learn more about ScaleUp and to point out that there are resources online to learn about ScaleUp as well as planned web a planned webinar in the future to cover ScaleUp 2021. And finally, for those outside the RPE community that might be partners on a potential ScaleUp award, I want to point out that there is a teaming list on RPE's Exchange website now, where you can indicate your interest in participating with a potential scale-up applicant to put forward a project proposal. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.